What is up, guys? This is D-Rock over from One Hive 2.0 with your next war recap. Um, before I get started here, I just wanted to appreciate and, and let you guys all know that I do appreciate um, you guys sticking with me. And I know that I've been having audio problems, but I did get a new mic. I listened to you guys, and I hope I really hope that this um, fixes the audio problems. Let me know in the comments if it doesn't. Please don't get too discouraged. I will try to make it better. Um, every video I'm you know, learning, I'm trying to make it better for you guys to have the best possible content that there is. Um, so that, <laughs> with that being said, I do have an amazing war to show you guys. Um, some <laughs> excellent attacks. One Hive pulled it off. Um, they, you know, they weren't that bad of a clan. Um, they had 72 stars, so I will give them the respect of going through the bases. But I have four attacks to show from this war. Um, the first one is by our buddy Hansel on number nine, and he uses a Shattered Goho. Um, and before I start, I want to pre preface this with um, this video and then the next recap, uh, the next replay are very similar, but um, it's with uh, a Goho with one Rage and two Heal, and the other one is three Heal and no rage. So I wanted to kind of compare and contrast the two because I, I always, I'm a very um, avid hogger and I always have that um, kind of conflict internally whether I want to rage my kill squad or if I want to just have an extra heal for my hogs. So it really depends on the base. I tend to lean towards the extra heal especially with the new poison spell. Um, but I think it's a good, it's a, it's a nice contrast between the two to show you guys both of the replays. Um, and they both come in from the same angle, different base but same angle. So they come in from the left with the Shattered, um, very nice with the placement, gets all of those defenses focused in on those two golems. Wizards behind, start creating that funnel, Queen to back it up, start working in those wall breakers, breaks open that first compartment. As soon as those golems start rerouting, the Wizards are taking out a couple DPS um, buildings. The, he, uh, the jump is already placed down, and as the CC comes out, I believe on this replay, he just saves it because he does have that rage. So he rages up the kill squad, it gets them in there a little bit faster, and it, the queen ends up taking out the dragon very quickly, so his golems last longer. So for this attack, because he wanted his golems to last as long as possible and keep his queen up, um, it worked good for him. Um, but... He already started his surgical around the top of the base, and he knew where the, I believe this was a cleanup attack, so he knew where the bombs were. Um, or maybe maybe it wasn't, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but as you can see, he hasn't even tripped any of the bombs yet. But really what saved him was this last heal placement. Absolutely perfect. And the reason is because that one bomb went off. And as his hogs come up, another bomb goes off, but oh, he has no, no more heal left. But because of the first heal placement, or the second heal placement, he was able to catch um, just the smidge at the edge of that group of hogs. So he doesn't end up having that many hogs left at the end of the raid, but at this point he still has his queen ability, and he aggroes her pretty soon, um, and fades her up a little bit yeah, to get that town hall. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I like having three heals instead of um, a rage as well, especially with the poison spell, because you know, if he had one more heal, I don't think the rage really got him that much value. If he had one more heal, then he could have, uh, you know, put another heal on that last group of hogs and he could have saved, you know, seven or eight. So it is a preference. I, you know, he did end up taking out the dragon faster, uh, but it is a preference. Thing. So the next attack um, on the other side of the scale is Ivan on uh, number 12. A Goho as well, but this time only brought, uh, he brought three heals instead of um, a Rage. So I, I love the way he came in with his Golems here. He placed the CC right up here because he wanted to get that Archer Tower's focus on it. I thought that was brilliant, making sure that his Wizards are not being wasted. Um, so this entire time, just two, I think three, four Wizards are taking out a lot of buildings. Hasn't even dropped his King or Queen yet. Golems are moving in. He's already taken out a couple DPS buildings, but now he drops his king, his queen, and I believe for this raid, the poison. Does the poison get dropped? 
No, it doesn't. But anyways, his queen's already... I, the, because of the way that he dropped his queen, um, she had no trash buildings to take out. With that new AI, she would have been banging on some DPR, some, some buildings. But um, because he created his funnel so nicely, there, was no, there were no buildings to actually target anything besides the CC. So he comes in with his almost like an Asian wall mini surgical. Uh, I wouldn't call it surgical because there were so many dropped at once. But he first dropped his heel, so he has now he has two left. So he's not um, being shy with when he uses those heels because you know he, he has three. Um, places another one here. He, there's a lot of high HP buildings. Could have been a little bit left maybe to catch the um, a few more of those hogs. But there's a huge group right there, and he still has another heel. So he places it perfectly. Any any longer, those hogs would have been bye bye with the skeletons target him. Um, but he has the poison spell, very smartly saved it for the skeletons. They're gonna, just going to walk into it and melt away. And there's only one Tesla, and at this point it is all over. He still has his beefy level 30 he, uh, queen that he can phase up. And he's going to do that pretty soon to help all, all of his hoggies with the cleanup. I guess he doesn't even phase it up. That's a cocky move, but I like it. Okay. Um, so the next attack is... By our buddy Iron Wolf, and this attack, you guys are gonna love it. Um, it is a Valk attack, and if you notice here, right there, there is a hole in the base, and our buddy Iron Wolf is going to exploit it to the best that he can. What he's gonna do is he's gonna drop a heal, a rage, and a jump spell right out of the gate before he drops any troops. Then he's gonna drop his his golem. And, you know, it's going to work the inside out range. So he already has three of his heals just placed right, or three of his spells placed right there. Lava Hound comes out, not going to do anything. And as soon as all of the defenses are targeting that golem, he drops all of his Valks. And they're just going to wreck the core. And then he comes immediately, not wasting any time, with the hogs around the base. So I really love this attack. I thought that it was brilliant to exploit the way he did. Um, and of course, anytime you see Valks, I'm going to show it. So he still has a golem in the bag. I'm not sure what that was about. If that was meant to be dropped at the beginning, and it was a misclick or what. Um, but didn't even end up needing that golem. So you know, just absolutely crushed the base. Um, a couple hogs go to bacon right there on the uh, double bomb set, but not a big deal. He uses his heel smartly over the large group of hogs, and they're just going to finish off this base. There's only a mortar and that air defense left, and at that point it's all gone. He actually uses that golem for cleanup, so that's ah, yeah, <laughs> that's brilliant. Um, I don't know. I gotta talk to him and see what was up with that attack. That's pretty funny that he had that golem just for cleanup. Um, but yeah, it is just cleanup at this point, and even though that um, hound is still up, she is not gonna do anything to those hogs because she is a weakling. Um, so yeah, absolutely wrecked the base, and I thought it was a very interesting attack, so good job, Iron. And the last one, I've shown you a similar video, last one, um, by the same guy, Clickety Clack. If you see the army composition, he has five hastes, so, and he, he ends up using it very nicely. I'd, I'd like to see more of this from other members. I'm not sure if this is just his signature or if it's an OP strategy, um, in general. But either way, I, I loved it. The only critique I did have on this uh, attack was the use of the jump. He could have actually you brought either two more haste or an extra rage and not used it, and maybe just two wall breakers instead of a whiz or instead of a, a loon. Um, because as you'll see here, um, he uses it over the first two compartments when really uh, a wall breaker... And you could actually, I mean, you could have brought the jump. You could have just put it a little bit more deep inside the base to get a little bit more of a push, but uh, wasn't a big deal. I'm just nitpicking here. But he does put his raid down, gets the wizards in there. The king is going to just walk right in and start taking out the, the Tesla, the queen. Um, the hound comes out, so it's not really that big of a deal. The queen will probably um, be stuck on it for a little bit, but it won't end up affecting the raid. So the Lava Hound is about to go down any time now. And then as it does, the Queen is going to start picking it off. Kind of a nuisance. But then the Queen goes right after that air defense. 
and he's out. He's already started his um, his lawless part. So let me actually go back and replay that because I did miss it. I apologize for that. But it was on 22. So me, 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 me. Let's go four times fast. So oh, getting created. Gone going in. We got Lava Hound coming out, kind of distracting me for a bit, like, just like the Queen does. But he comes already with his um, hog, or his Hound part of the attack. He has five haste, so he's going to be very um, liberal with where he places these. And just making sure that the loons get as quickly into those defenses as, uh, as they possibly can. So I just loved it. I thought that it was brilliant, just pushing it around the outside because only two defenses Two um, loon drops per defense, besides the X bow and the air defenses, is needed. So um, at the end of this raid, all, instead of last time where three of his hounds popped, he was a lot more patient with his last ace and smartly waited until that hound pops and then he drops his ace. So I thought it was a brilliant adjustment to how he did this last time. Um, just learning from the attack and optimizing it very nicely. So it is just clean up at this point. The queen is still up. His pups running around the edge. So um, I'd like to see more of that. If you guys have any videos that you want to share of a haste instead of rage placement for a Lalo, please uh, forward to me and maybe I'll highlight in a future episode. But anyways, that is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, learned something. Let me know in the comments if the audio is better. I hope this finally solves the issue. If not, I'm sorry. Um, and I'll work to get even better at it, but let me know in the comments, and until next time, this is D-Rock signing off. Cheers, guys.